Hi and welcome to another portion of this Land Rover 101 which me and my son are on with. Um, so before I start on the Landy, uh, let me just do a, a really quick update on what's happening with the Jag. Not much. But what we do have, or what I've been doing, when I last spoke about um, when I last spoke about the uh, exhaust system, I said I was going to be doing the printed 3D printing of the templates for the original manifolds. So this is the rear one, and that one's the front one. So we managed to get the printers working properly um, this week. Well, the last one uh, we've got two resins and two filaments. One filament we use for making specific items for the steering, which I work on. I specialise in uh, electric and hydraulic uh, steering for cars, mainly cars. Um, but anyway, so we've got one printer that's dedicated for just printing specific things. Um, so we don't really change the filament over. And the other one I thought was working, and it wasn't. And I've been busy in getting on to blah, 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 blah. But anyway, I've got it working. Um, and so I printed the first half of the front manifold template for the flanger which I need to profile cut. I profile cut out at some mild steel plate. So I printed this out uh, thinking, expecting it was going to be absolutely spot on and when I come to uh, fit it onto the front manifold, I hope you can see this, uh, it was out there and this hole you can see this edge here now I'm not sure why that's done that um, but what I think has happened um, with this Fusion 360 uh, software what I'm using one of the things I found when I uh, trim a line um, the constraint point at the end of a line uh, it disappears and even though it constrains itself to the line it's cut to it seems to lose a fixed point or so, so I'm trying to get made around exactly what's doing but I think what's happened is as I've been trimming some dimensions I've put some dimensions in it's shifted it's moved things often it's moved this over and it's pulled this down and over so all this has has gone from here to here that's correct but all this is wrong so I think there's a constraint, I don't think it's a dimension, well obviously there's a dimension error because it's way off, it's probably about a centimetre uh, out is this, all this should be further over obviously this way as you've seen. Uh, but this is a good thing about being able to print nowadays, um, because you can't get the dimensions for these uh, manifolds, at least I've not been able to find anything anyway. So <clears throat> what I did was, um, I went to my drawings, I retook all my measurements from the manifolds and uh, I went to my drawing and yes, it, obviously my drawing has obviously produced this ultimately. Um, so I've remade, I've redone all the drawings, I couldn't check with my original paperwork which I'd, uh, I'd used uh, to make my CAD model of this but uh, I've, I've redone it now so um, Monday will be when I start uh, making these back up. So I'm hoping that when I come down on Thursday I'll have the, all these to check onto my manifolds. Hopefully they'll be correct and then uh, I can get those uh, STL files sent off to a profile cutters and they can then be cut out out of some uh, 12 mil mild steel plate and then I can get on with doing the uh, the exhaust, the runners. So that's where we are with the Jag. Other than that, I've not done really anything with it. Well, I haven't done anything with it. I've been solely concentrating on the Land Rover. Not because I'm bored of the Jag, it's just I wanted to get the exhaust done and, and one thing after another, but uh, that's where we are with that. So sorry for those who have eagerly anticipating and waiting for it to uh, run in and finished. Sorry, but... <laughs> We'll get there in the end. So, 101. What have I done not 101? Well, um, basically I finished the doors, the side doors, 
and the rear door. And I've also got the wood in the roof. So I said that I was putting some 12 mil uh, ply in the roof to help spread the load, which I've done. I did that yesterday. Uh, I put some lugs in, which I'll show you all this. But uh, so the roof, the, the ply boards in the roof uh, and the doors are done, the locks are in. Uh, there's still a little bit jigging around with the doors to get them spot on, but at once I've framed, um, covered all the framework and this that and, and I've set the doors in permanently, then we'll, we'll refine, but they're, they're pretty good. So if we go over here and I'll show you the back door, and then when I've shown the back door, then we'll go to the side door, and I've just done a little bit of reinforcing on the front frame um, for the body when I put the stuff, when I was on top, and my son was on top, we could see it was springing a bit at the front. Um, and so I've, I've reinforced that a little bit. In fact, I've overdone it, but it was the only bit of box I had left and I wasn't gonna go to, to supplies and get another piece just for these two short pieces. Uh, so anyway, so let's go over here and we'll have a look at uh, the back door and see where we are with that. So the back door, as you can see, frame, hinges, these hinges, I was looking for the original hinges for the Land Rover 101 for the radio body, but I couldn't find any that looked right. And I know that the early Land Rovers use different hinges from these, but they look different where the arm, I think the arm comes off the hinge point to the bodies quite longer. So <clears throat> I couldn't find any original ones of those. So I thought I'd just get some, uh, Series 3 early defender hinges. Um, so that's what I've used all round uh, for these doors on the back. Obviously the face angles had to be changed. Uh, so what I've done on the uh, rear ones, I've left them as they were and I've made some uh, shim wedges to go in. And uh, that squared it up so I did that for the back hinges and for the front hinges I clamped a piece of because obviously on the side and I'll show you on the side uh, its angle comes in and so I had to make sure that both inch pins were running parallel so I clamped a piece of bar in between them and I measured the gap where I was going to position them on the frame, which I'll show you. And so on the side ones, I, I cut them and I sanded them flat, which was a job. I'm actually even making these wedges for this was the same. I squared them off, I measured the gap, and then I had to cut some material, file it, and then sand it and make sure they're perfectly flat. Um, I was going to take them to work to mill them, but our mill, the, the well the other whole thing is it's all a little hobbyist thing we have because we don't really do any machining but anyway it wasn't worth it so i did have to spend some time making these wedges shims it in here and doing the uh, cutting and sanding of the hinges on the side but anyway so series three early defender hinges um to mount it on uh same with the locks uh I think those are def uh, Defender hinges, uh, Series 3 defend early Defender locks and pins. Um, so yeah, so, <clears throat> made the frame up. I used two sheets of uh, one mil alley galvanized to make the frame to put the locks in. And uh, yeah, so there's the door. As you can see, the lock. Um, so we've got that. Uh, what else have I done? Nothing really. Uh, what, I, what I was going to do is, um, last time I said we was going to put a slideshow and some pictures of the things we'd done, but uh, my son hadn't charged the battery up on the camera and so we couldn't make them, so I couldn't put it in. So I did take some pictures, but I haven't obviously put them in, so I'll put them in this video and so I'll take some close-ups of this stuff and then I'll put those in as well. So we'll definitely have a bit of a slideshow just to show the bits that we've done so you can see better um, how I achieved certain things in here and, and so forth. Uh, and also with the manifold, <coughs> uh, the, the 3D printed template I made, I'll put that in as well. Uh, so, so you'll have that. 
So if we go down the side, we'll look at the side and basically it's the same, but the side, you'll be able to see that better as well. So if we go down there. So side doors. So what I've done with the side doors, instead of making them equal um, for the aperture, I didn't want two narrow doors. I wanted one big one and one narrow one because uh, you're only going to use one to get in and if it was if it was equal it'd be small so you'd be especially with a big boy like me try to get in no good so I made this one wider so I think this is about two-thirds the aperture width so the same thing <coughs> made the frames um, and then like I say modified the hinges because this is vertical and then it tumbles home here and so obviously the angle face against the pivots on the hinge pins obviously needed sorting out so like I said I got a piece of uh, box clamped them together where I wanted them put them on and measured the distance the gap because I've already got a, uh, a machine face angle face on them for the Land Rover um, frames that they go on to so uh, probably somebody will say why didn't you do this it was the simplest thing i found at the time i wasn't i'd spent too much time already looking for the original hinges that go on these and couldn't find anything even 101 parts didn't have them so it was like <clears throat> i'm not going to mess around easy thing to get to and it probably took me all all set all the six inches what uh, uh sorry three sets that i used yeah six inches um probably took me a day messing around to, to grind, cut them, grind them, polish them and so forth to get the angles right. Um, so, yeah. So they're on. Uh, lock, same thing. And there you go, the door opens. And, it, and it's big enough to get into. I'm not having to squeeze sideways or anything like that. It's, so it's, that's good, is that? And then uh, <coughs> I took obviously a lot of referencing from uh, a lot of pictures I've got online of uh, radio bodies and the vampires just to see what uh, how they built them and so forth and what they'd used so the seal there's an edge on here for the op for, for locking this in uh, I've got some spring loaded pull up pull down uh, locks <coughs> which I'll show you, but I thought they were going to be smaller than what they were. Uh, I didn't look at size, I thought those are what I want, I'll, I get them, and I got them and it's like man alive, they're huge really, but they're robust and they'll do the job. So um, yeah, so I just put some brackets in, top and bottom, and they just goes home, I've got a nice little bump stop here just to stop there but it will have the seals on and then just turn it in and it's locked in <clears throat> like I say I'll take some pictures bin a slice so you'll be able to see see them better up um, the bolted on the brackets are made I just put some six mil plate in the back and drilled and tapped them so they're just screwed on with some loctite into all them in play and that's it really um, the lock systems are all adjustable to try and get it all to lock nicely. I have messed around a bit. Um, the rubber bump stop thing or whatever it is here, <laughs> you put the you put the lock in and you literally, you, you have to ram it up to try and get the thing to shut and then to undo it you couldn't, put, you couldn't open it. it once it was locked in. So I've had to chop a bit off, shorten the bolts and so I've had a bit of messing around and whether that's because these are from China and they're not exactly right, or what, I don't know, but anyway, but we've got it to somewhat like right. Uh, yeah, so, uh, that's that. Uh, the woods, let me just open this, might be able to see it a bit better. So, the roof. Um, 12 mil ply. Uh, what I did was, I put some lugs in between the longitudinal braces which I put in, uh, so brace the set those there, and the ends, 
because the, the box section at the top is on an angle, the top face of it is angled, so what I did was I mitered the actual ply board to match that angle. Um, and then I've, gl I've glued it all down, so I've, obviously I've etch primed the steel and then I've glued it all down and then it's screwed down, so it's glued and screwed down. Um, and that's for both of them. And in the corners here, like I said, I'd reinforce them with some box section, some two inch box, three mil wall, two inch box I had. It's huge stuff, but <clears throat> it was what I had. And I, like I said, I wasn't gonna go and to purchase some more uh, two by one just to do those. Uh, so we've, it's, it's heavy duty now, is that? But it, it was springing somewhat. And it's not that I'm gonna put a lot of weight on top of it, but anybody walking on and just and lifting sort of whatever it might be up there, even though it won't be heavy, uh, could still end up probably damaging it. So I just put that on just to make sure it was okay. So but I'll take pictures of those as well so you can see that. And that's pretty much it. it doesn't look like a great deal, but uh, there's been a lot of work to go into making these and try to get them, get it all right. Um, yeah, it's uh, certainly been a thing and same for working out for the seals. I've got a lip I've got on which I'll be putting all the way around. I've got like, say I've got it on the this door here for where the knock on edge seal will go on, but I'll have it all the way around. Same with the back door, I'll have a lip I'll be putting on um, to get the knock on edge seal on, so that's that. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's where we are with it. Um, I'd just say, uh, just in closing, um, I do have some, some uh, statements on the video which I've put up, uh, which I've not looked at. I was gonna do last night, but I was doing some CAD work, uh, funnily enough, for the JAG, and I'd finished off the manifolds on uh, Thursday. So last night I was doing the seats. I've been struggling trying to get the seats backs right, so I can uh, get the modeling correct. But uh, we'll get in there, I think. <clears throat> but yeah, so some things that, uh, some comments have been made. I, I need to look at, go through them and look at them. I just, uh, you know, go through those and I'll give you some answers for those when I've got them. But that's going to be next time because I forgot and I'm being busy. But uh, what I was also going to ask, um, because I obviously... I do this because I enjoy building the stuff and I also enjoy uh, people's uh, interaction with what I'm doing and the comment, like I say, the comments I get. So one of the things I've been, I've been trying to do and for those who's been following the JAG uh, for a long time, thank you, uh, and those who've maybe come on board just for the Land Rover, I'm trying to make the video, I want them to be better. I obviously am limited for, with funds and time. Uh, and it would, be, it would be nice to show me doing some work, but I just don't have the time to set up the camera and, and try and do, it, and do the work as well. It would drag it so, it would be so slow. But what I'm, what I'm thinking is, um, what, you th what you out there who's watching the videos, uh, what do you think could be making it better? Um, it's not that I'm gonna implement anything or everything or, I just want to know that I'll look at it and i say, right, yeah, I actually agree with that. That would be better if I did X, Y, or Z. So if you can put in some comments what you feel would be better uh, about how I make these videos, present them or whatever, bearing in mind I'm limited to what I can do. Uh, but uh, yeah. Uh, and on that, just thank you for watching and uh, for all your comments. Like I say, I appreciate them. Uh, especially when they're positive, and generally they are positive, um, so that's good. And uh, yeah, so you all take it steady, and until next time, I'll see you later. And just on a quick note, just putting another piece in here, what I didn't mention about the doors, I thought when I'd made them, because this here, if you look at the angle there, I thought when it opened up it would clear the corner here, as it brought it out, it didn't. 
it literally just dragged itself straight into it. So I had to chop the ends off and put these chamf like these chamfered edges on here and the so both same. So when I open it, it just clears, but it actually looks quite good, I think. So that's why those are like that. I thought they would clear because obviously it comes back out, but it didn't. It just caught just at the top as it started to come around. So yeah, so that as well.